Yo. Okay, I think this is the first time I'm doing Bring Me the Horizon. I know them. I've listened to them. I like them a lot. I like the band. Yeah, this just came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, not sure if they've put out a new album or anything, but I'm going to check it out. I only know, the only feature I know is Lil Uzi Vert. And I only know that one song where his friends are dead or something. I don't know rap. I don't know a lot of rap. Oh, it looks like he's been putting on some new stuff too. This one. Yeah, yep, this one. That's the only song I know from him. But I don't know the other guys. Like at all. Daryl Palumbo? Pal Palumbo? Alternative rock, post hardcore, experimental rock. Okay. And then Glass Jaw. I'm guessing that's a, that sounds like a band. Yeah, it looks like a band. Post hardcore. Okay. Okay, so the only outlier here would be Lil Uzi, right? I wonder how he's going to be incorporated. He, there's going to be like a. Maybe, um. Is there going to be like a section of him or is there going to be multiple sections? You know, I'm guessing like either their singers from the bands here are going to be singing some of the parts, right? Okay, it's only three and a half minutes. It's not a very long song. Let me bring it back. Okay. Oh my god, this looks like one of those, um, oh my god, I got into them like last year. Um, analog horror stuff. I love it. <laughs> This is definitely analog, analog horror stuff. Horror. I hope you have fun. Fuck. Mm. Oh, oh, doesn't sound good. Genesis. I love this, bros. Um, okay. Starts with... Punches you, right? Starts off... Punching you. Okay, um... Holy shit. Starts off with that... The metal with the... And then, um, the harsh vocals. Um... I believe his name is Ollie, right? From Bring Me the Horizon. It's so good. With Analog Horror, which is, this is, I'm guessing this is like... Inspired by it, a lot of analog horror likes to bring in religious elements, specifically from Christianity, right? The apostles, you know, all that stuff. Demons. I find that stuff interesting. It's interesting, but I don't, you know, believe in that. St what you don't, you don't care. I don't care. I don't believe in religion or anything, but it's interesting. Especially in this context where you can take it and then make it into like some horror element stuff. I love it. God damn. Okay. I'm gonna go back a little bit actually. I'm gonna go. Genesis. That's such a good one. Mm. So, this is someone else. Who's that? <laughs> what? There, there's a Uzi. Ooh. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh no, don't drink it. Not the Kool-Aid. Sorry, I'm, I gotta keep it quiet. It's like two in the morning, but <clears throat> it's still good. Um, there's a little choir part in here. Bread, <clears throat> just bread. There's so much stuff that happened here. Lots of pauses. Then Uzi's part was right here. Is he gonna come back and do a little little extra? Or was that just his part here? I'm gonna go back. I'm sorry. Just a little bit. Fuck, man. Um, this is so good. Mm. The Holy Choir. Red. Little choir in the background. Purifying. Oh. Oh my god. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can't think of descriptive words. I think I loved everything about it actually. All of it. the video, the visuals, the, uh, the audio, the song, the analog horror elements, the drinking the Kool Aid elements. That was sweet. That was cool. Classic. Don't worry, we're going to heaven. Drink this. Cool it um musically the hardcore of ness of it the little Uzi Vert part was pleasantly surprised um I don't know why I thought he was going like do so, well, he did rap a little bit but he did some singing therein it was good actually makes me want to listen to them the features yeah I can't think of much else to say. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, that's about it. Peace.